Hi to all, in this video I will talk about the HCP protocol. The Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol is a network management protocol used to automatically assign IP addresses. It simplifies the process of network administration by enabling devices to obtain their network settings dynamically rather than requiring manual configuration. Here is a basic overview of how DHCP works. First packet, DHCP discovery. When a device connects to a network and needs an IP address, it sends out a DHCP discovery message as a broadcast request. Notice the source and destination IP on the first packet. This is what a broadcast request looks like. If you don't know, a broadcast request is a type of network communication that is used to send a message to all devices on a specific network or subnet. Second packet is DHCP offer. DHCP server receives the DHCP discovery message and responds with a DHCP offer message. The offer message contains an available IP address, subnet mask, lease duration and other network configuration parameters. Let's look at these details. Under the dynamic host configuration protocol, we can see offered configurations. These are client's IP address, subnet mask, renewal time value, rebinding time value, IP address lease time, and DHCP server's IP address. Renewal time is like a deadline for a lease on an IP address. When a device connects to a network, it is assigned an IP address by the DHCP server for a specific period which is called the lease time. The renewal time is a point during the lease period when the device needs to check in with the DHCP server and ask if it can keep using the assigned IP address. Think of it as a reminder for the device to extend its lease. If it doesn't renew the lease within the renewal time, it may lose the IP address. Rebinding time. The rebinding time is like a safety net for a lease on IP address. If the device fails to renew its lease within the renewal time, the rebinding time comes into play. During the rebinding time, the device makes an effort to contact any available DHCP server on the network and request to keep using the IP address. The rebinding time is a longer duration compared to renewal time because it allows the device more time to find the DHCP server and avoid losing its IP address altogether. Third packet, DHCP request. The device selects one of the DHCP offers, if there is more than one, and sends a DHCP request message to the server, indicating its acceptance of the offered IP address. Again, client is sending a broadcast and requested IP address is there. Fourth packet is DHCP acknowledgement. The DHCP server receives the request and responds with a DHCP acknowledgement message, confirming the allocation of the IP address to the requesting device. The acknowledgement also provides additional configuration information. The device now has an IP address and can communicate on the network. The DHCP server assigns a lease duration to the IP address, after which the device must renew the lease to continue using the IP address. During the series, sometimes I use this website for sample PCAP files. You can also visit the website, explore different traffics, and study further. Since this video exceeds its time, I prepare an information chart about why do we need DHCP. It will help you to settle the topic down. You can stop the video right here and read this page. I hope you had fun while learning the DHCP protocol. This video is over. See you on another video.